Alex, one of the principles in physics is that things are similar in various directions. So time goes forward and backward in various things. Inflation is a theory that you've been one of the pioneers in, which explains how the universe began. But your claim is that inflation is eternal into the future, exponentially building more and more universes, but is not eternal into the past. How does that work? Um, there is a, a mathematical theorem that uh, uh, I proved with Arvind Bord and Alan Guth, which uh, is very easy to formulate. It tells you that if the universe is expanding, then it must have a beginning, to, to put it a little uh, oversimplified. So what, what, what do you actually show is that if the universe is expanding all the time, then if you follow backwards the history of any object, this history will come to some boundary of space time. You cannot continue that history indefinitely long in a universe which expands forever. Moreover, it can, we can we generalize it and say that uh, even if the universe has periods of contraction, uh, this is still true. It still has to have a beginning if uh, expansion uh, overweights the contraction. So if on average the universe is expanding, then it must have had a beginning of some sort. So uh, eternal inflation, obviously inflation is an expansion of the universe. So uh, inflation must have had a beginning. It doesn't tell you that the universe as a whole must have a beginning. So for example, the theorem allows you to have a period of contraction before we had an expansion. I mean, if the universe just was contracting forever, and then it started expanding. This is not excluded, but contracting universes are rather problematic because in a contracting universe, uh, any perturbation, any fluctuation in density uh, will collapse even faster than it collapses in a non-contracting universe. So a contracting universe will become a total mass by the time you want to start an expansion. And therefore becomes impossible? And therefore becomes impossible, right. So, so uh, basically, um, it appears that uh, inflation must have had some sort of a beginning. Now some theories have a, a cyclical of a very long time span, a trillion years or whatever, where you have a whether it's a change in the signs of physical law or whatever it else, you have a, a cyclical forever universe. Many physicists would be more comfortable with a, an eternal universe that went through cycles of expansion and contraction than with a beginning, because a beginning has to be explained in one way or, or, or another, an additional thing you have to do. That's right. Well, it, it's true that physicists have been uh, extremely uncomfortable with the idea of beginning from the uh, work of Friedman, basically, who showed that uh, the, the universe solutions of Einstein's equations have this property. Um, uh, but uh, the problem with the uh, cyclical universe is that um, the, if the universe goes in cycles, uh, the problem is with the second law of thermodynamics. Uh, so if it is a periodic universe, uh, in each period, uh, the entropy can grow. Entropy is the amount of disorder in the universe yeah. and the thermodynamics, which is, uh, second law of thermodynamics, which is one of the most fundamental laws of nature, tells us that it can only increase, increase or stay the same. So which means that in a finite amount of time, in a finite system, uh, you reach the state of maximum disorder, which is called the thermal equilibrium, and then, and then you stay in that state. So a cyclical universe cannot uh, seemingly avoid this problem. Uh, th there are problems of uh, cyclic universe uh, as uh, like uh, the ones that developed by Steinhardt uh, and Turok. Um, and uh, in those, those models do not have this problem. They have cycles, but the size of the cycle uh, increases with time. So the next cycle is bigger than the first. Uh -huh. So in this sense, the total entropy in the universe grows, but the entropy you see in your limited region may not grow. 
So, so, so does that model contradict your theorem that the inflation had to have a beginning? No, because uh, in that model, since each cycle is bigger than the previous one, on average you have expansion. And so uh -huh. the theorem applies, and therefore the cyclic pattern has to have a beginning. Yeah, uh, but people who have a, a cyclical model don't like to have a beginning. Uh, they don't like it, but they cannot avoid it. Okay. I mean, this uh, cyclic model, is, uh, cyclic model must uh, start. Cycles have to start at some point. So that's um, the consequence of the theorem. What is the implication of that? Um, well, you, the implication is that uh, we physicists have to face the problem of how the universe began, even though many were extremely reluctant to do that. Um, uh, maybe I should mention that uh, there is another uh, idea how the universe could begin, which is um, that the universe was in a static state. Some static universe, and then something triggered the expansion. So it forever it was like a closed spherical static universe, and then it started inflating. Uh, in this case, it seems that you can avoid uh, asking how the whole thing started, uh, but um, it turned. Then you have to have the arbitrary idea that at some point, arbitrarily, something happened to change this eternal static prior state. That's true. That, so, that's, so they had to face this, but uh, they invented some a clever yeah. idea of how this can happen. So the, there is some uh, process going on uh, which, is, which has no effect on the static universe, but uh, eventually it triggers the... It is a rather artificial device, but even if you succeed in doing that, the static universe has the problem that it has a non-zero probability of collapsing, quantum mechanically. Mm -hmm. And that means that it cannot exist forever. So you're still back to a beginning. You're still back to a beginning. Uh, and uh, the only way that we have now to explain the beginning is uh, naturally is through uh, quantum process. Um, so the universe could spontaneously originate uh, quantum mechanically, uh, tunneling from nothing, that is from a state where there was no space, time, or matter, to a closed universe, and then expanding.